Okay, this is a quick tutorial for um, Cisco subnetting. Um, I'm going to do a whole bunch of tutorials on Cisco subnetting for the um, CCNA 1 class. Um, there's four sections to the CCNA, and CCNA 1 is networking fundamentals. So this is my first tutorial. And um, first of all, if you want to understand um, Cisco subnetting, you have to understand um, how to work with binary. Um, binary counting system, number system. So I put up here binary versus decimal. And this is the hang up, is that we're, we're used to working with decimal counting, right? We do everything in decimal. So as so soon as um, somebody says, hey, I want you to think and use a different uh, counting system, we just can't do it because we're just so used to working with a decimal system, right? And so it becomes hard. So um, first of all, what's the differences between binary and decimal? Okay, so in binary, we'll start with this. In the binary system, um, the binary system is um, a base two system, base two. Okay, and what does that mean? that means there's only two digits, a zero or a one. So you've heard everybody say in computers everything's ones and zeros. Well, or you know, it's a binary system. That means there's only two digits that the computer really knows and that is zeros and ones. So it's base two. Alright, simple enough. Now decimal system is um, different. Okay, decimal system is uh, base ten which means there's 10 digits that we use to count. We use a 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then when we want to we want to say 10, we use a combination of a 1 and a 0, right? So, but there's only this these numbers are the ones we use. All right. So, we'll go here. We say let's see here. Uh, no, that's not what I want to do. Yeah, I'll do it like this. Okay. So in binary, I'm going to bring up this picture right here now. Um, in binary, base 2, two digits, 0, 1. So if I write out this number in binary, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, it's actually in decimal, this would be 179. Okay. And how does that work? It works because of place values there are place values that um, these numbers correspond to and this is essentially a little map or for the place values but it'll be easier if we first talk about it in decimal so I'll go down to decimal and talk about uh, the decimal number 179 so in decimal with the number 179 okay you have there's the number 179 right you have the um, ones place, right? The tens place, the hundreds place, the thousands, ten thousand, a hundred thousand, and a million. And what that means is, this is the ten to the zero place, right? Ten to the zero, ten to the power of zero is one. Ten to the power of one is ten. Ten to the power of two, or ten times ten, is a hundred. Ten to the power of three, or ten times ten times ten, is a thousand. Ten to the four, ten times ten times ten times ten, is ten thousand and then 100,000 and one, 1 million. So what you have here is to do the number 179 in the decimal counting system that means we have 1 is in the hundreds place so that means we have 1 times 100 and we have 100 and then we have 7 in the tens place or 7 times 10 right and we have 9 in the ones place or 9 times 1 or 100 plus 70 plus 9 equals 179. Of course, we learn this when we're very young, so we just accept it. That's 179, right? Oh, 100, it's a hundreds place, 7 in the tens place, and 9 in the ones place, right? Which means 1 100, 7 tens, and 9 ones, right? 179. Well, in binary, it's a little bit different. In binary, the um, place values are different because it's base 2. So instead of 10 to the 0 and 10 to the 1 and 10 to the 2, it's 2 to the 0 is the 1's place. 2 to the 1 is 
the two's place. Two to the two, or two times two is four, four's place. Two to the three, or two times two times two is eight. That's the eighth's place. Two to the fourth power is 16, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and so on and so forth. But notice the difference here. Instead of going up by multiples of 10, it's going up by multiples of 2. So each place value in binary doubles the previous. So 1, 2, 4, 8. 2 times 8 is 16. 2 times 16 is 32. 2 times 32 is 64. 2 times, 100, uh, 2 times 64 is 128. The next place would be 2 times 128, or 256, um, right? So um, it's quite easy that way. Well, here's our number. 10110011. So I put them in here. 10110011. And what does that mean? That means we have 128 in the 128th place. We have nothing in the 64's place, but we have 1 in the 32's place, or 1 times 32. So we have a 32. We have a 1 in the 16's place, so we have a 16. We have 1 in the 2's place, we have a 2, right here. And we have a 1 in the 1's place, so we have a 1. And it's always 1 times 128, 132, 116, 1, 2, and 1, 1, or 128 plus 32 plus 16 plus 2 plus 1 equals 179. All right, and that's it. That's essentially it. That is the uh, counting system for um, for binary, right? There it is in decimal, right? And here it is in binary.